At Healthcare Partners Medical Group, our mission is to provide the highest quality of healthcare to each and every patient. With five locations in Pahrump, we are local doctors you know and trust. We want to thank you for choosing us. Quality care starts here. News 46 is brought to you by Healthcare Partners. News is brought to you in part by One Nevada Credit Union, where right now you can refinance your auto loan with rates as low as 2.98% and no payments for 90 days for qualified members. Call us today for details. News is also brought to you by Capriati Sandwich Shop, located in the Pahrump Nugget Casino. Call us at 775-751-3354 to order ahead. News is also brought to you by Hope Counseling Services, where we specialize in behavioral health, inspiring hope for a brighter tomorrow. Call 775-727-0101 for more information. Tonight on News 46, from T-Town to G-Town, new signage for the local casino. And Butch Harper returns from Aurora, Colorado. And are your kids up to date on school vaccinations? News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46. With Zach Fuentes. And Monique Mitchell. Local coverage from Deanna O'Donnell. News 46. Local coverage you can count on. And good evening. It's Tuesday, August 21st, 2012. I'm Zach Fuentes. And I'm Monique Mitchell for News 46. On the county commissioner's agenda today was an item that has been receiving a lot of attention lately. Apparently, Nevada Treasure RV Resort on the north end of town would like to have a clothing optional area on their private property for their guests. The item on today's agenda called for a county ordinance to be put in place to regulate such a business. If this item passed, the county could place regulations and restrictions on the business. As it stands now, there is not an ordinance in place to regulate clothing optional areas in Nye County. The commissioner's chamber was packed with citizens who appeared to be against the resort's clothing optional proposal. After hearing public comments, the county commissioners voted against the item, which now allows the resort to go forward with their proposed clothing optional area. Here's a vote from this morning's meeting. That place for 10 minutes. <laughs> but I don't want to go in there. So I'm going to be opposing this ordinance. Okay, I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any Aye. opposed? Did that pass 4-0, or did we just get three votes and nothing else? Oh, I said I. Oh. I did send it, and I voted to send it back, although it's I'm not. I would, I'd love to abstain, but I have no I, reason. I, and I voted aye. I, oh, voted in, I voted in favor of Butch's motion. But I just want to everybody to be aware, don't Please. consider this a victory yeah. on your part. Absolutely not. There is nothing in the law that prohibits them from engaging in this activity on their private property. Uh, the intent of this ordinance, and believe me, I had a lot of trouble with this. This is one of the most difficult issues that I've had in the 12 years I've been on this board. I, I believe that a, a regulated activity like this is better than a completely unregulated activity. And that's one of the, it's not, it's not a problem with our Constitution, but it, it is definitely one of the challenges. Um, I, I absolutely believe that, that private property is sacred, and private property rights are at, uh, they are fundamental and at the basis of all of our other laws. These people have the right to engage in this activity on their private property. The intent of the ordinance that came from the district attorney's office was to provide some very strict guidelines for operation. So this is not a victory for Pahrump. If they wanted to start this business tomorrow, completely unregulated, they could. So Amen. this is, like I, that's why I said, we're damned either way, no matter what we do. 
somebody's going to be unhappy. I think that the owners and managers are very happy. There is no ordinance, therefore there are no regulations. Exactly. So don't think this is a victory. And I would encourage all of you, if the town board decides that they are going to take up this issue as to whether or not they want an ordinance governing this type of business in this community, you really need to talk to your town board members, show up at that meeting, and make sure that you have input. Like my colleague here said, uh, um, without the ordinance, anything goes. But with the ordinance, you can certainly make it strict enough uh, that some folks might not want to open that kind of a business. And just what, and I'm so sorry I forgot your name, but the gentleman who spoke from Treasures uh, said we would prefer to operate without an ordinance. Well, of course you would. And you can view the entire county commissioner's meeting on channel 46.1 beginning at 7.30 tomorrow morning. And more on tomorrow night's broadcast regarding the county commissioner's meeting, including is Nye County planning on getting into the pub public utility business? The county commissioner today directed staff to go forward with negotiations to purchase Prump Utility Incorporated from developer Tim Hafen. A 32-year-old prompt man is dead after a rollover crash in Laughlin, but two children riding with him escaped with minor injuries. Las Vegas police say a Toyota 4Runner was driving on Casino Drive east of Needles Highway when it veered off the road a little after 8 p.m. Monday and overcorrected. Police say the car rolled and the driver, who wasn't wearing a seatbelt, was thrown from the vehicle. He was pronounced dead at the scene. An eight-year-old Pahrump girl and a six-year-old Pahrump boy were wearing seat belts and were, and were taken to Western Arizona Regional Medical Center with minor injuries. That's tragic for those children yes. and all his family as well. Well, we're going to have more news after the break. Please keep it here. Join us at the Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino with the number one gaming experience and entertainment. The Prompt Nugget has the number one dining experience at Stockman Steakhouse, Golden Harvest Cafe, and the Gold Miners Buffet. Come get your game on at the Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino. This portion of the news is brought to you by Children's Dentistry of Pahrump, specializing in sedation dentistry, now accepting adult patients. Call now for free IV sedation with dental implant, 751-2184. And welcome back to News 46. Butch Harper has returned to Pahrump after driving over 2,000 miles to deliver a condolence card to the town of Aurora, Colorado, after 12 people were killed and 58 injured when a gunman opened fire during a midnight showing of the, of the new Batman film, The Dark Knight Rises. Well, Aurora is a beautiful city, and the people treated me you know, like I was, I was somebody special, but... Uh, they set me up in the Marriott and everything, and uh, it's the people of Pahrump that deserved the kindness that they showed towards me because what I did wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for the people of uh, Pahrump, Nevada, and the citizens of Knight County. And they, uh, I was in awe when I walked into the city hall with what I saw. Big cards hanging from the balcony. Cards all over. And, uh, yeah, but your card was delivered in person. Everybody else mailed them. Why did you decide to deliver in person? Because that's me. It, it's, uh, it's something you have to have inside you, I guess, to do something what I did. But like I say, it's, it, it's not me. It's the people of Pahrump and I, but I just had to do it. It was just something I had to do. And it touched the mirror very, very deeply. It's, uh, it's the idea that, in fact, I was the only one, as far as I know, that actually delivered condolence message, uh, especially from that far. Of a thousand signatures, I believe we had. I had more than that. I would say I got over 1,500. And when I got back, I forgot where some more cards were. Mm -hmm. So I was told, you didn't take our cards. So anyway, I'm going back again. You, you're going to go personally deliver those now? I'm personally going to deliver to them. And I'm going to be in the process of getting as many signatures as I can. And I hope I'll probably leave somewhere around, and maybe in two weeks. So, the mayor and the city council greeted you. You also toured the movie theater. That that was uh, that was a sight in itself. It's 
They're going to need a dump truck to haul away all the flowers and everything. And there's flowers all around it. Oh my God, it's it, it's it's heart wrenching, really, when you go there and you see it in person. And then I saw people kneeling and praying, and I wanted to take a picture of it, but uh, some, you know, it's, I couldn't do it. It almost so feels impressive. like a violation, right? Yeah, it's a uh, it's very it's a sensitive issue, and uh, you know, it's the people of Aurora got to deal with it. And the message I brought to them, it will never change anything. What's done is done, but hopefully it eases the pain a little bit. And that's uh, coming from the big hearts of the people right here. Well, Donna McDougall invites the pub public to the flag retirement ceremony at the VFW on Homestead Road, in which over 1,000 flags will be retired. We are doing a flag retirement ceremony to remember the, the fallen from 9-11. Close to 500 flags, audience participation, the flag will be put into a, 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 a flame uh, and we will use all caution so no one gets hurt. Uh, anybody is welcome to participate, anybody is welcome to place a flame in remembrance or a flag they no longer can fly. To go along with it, because we're doing it on Saturday the 8th due to the fact that 9-11 falls on a weekday, Schools are open, offices are working. But on the 11th, we will be doing a dusk to dawn vir uh, vigil where we're watching and putting out whatever flags that need to be retired for those people who want to remember it on the 11th from dawn to dusk. Was this a concept that you came up with to do here in Pahrump? Oh, no, no. Flag retirements go back to the inception of the constitution in the United States. The Pahrump uh, remembering is the idea of Tom Vick, the post commander of the VFW. And we have a strong history with the Boy Scouts, with the post. And uh, so the Boy Scouts and the VFW get together and remember the issue of 9-11. You're going to be having a planning meeting uh, Saturday, the 25th, at 4. What are you guys going to be discussing there? We will be doing, uh, on, the, on the 25th, at the VFW, we will be discussing finalized plans, the final commitments of who's coming. We're hoping to have the, JR, the junior ROTC participate. We've reached out to the local Paiute chief, hoping that he can have a dance team put forth a what they call a honoring dance uh, and then whatever local politicians show up. We know the fire department will send a representative, we know the police department will send a representative, and we know that each branch of the service will have a representative. Uh, and is this something that's planned to be happening year after year annually? This is the official third anniversary of 9-11, but we've been doing it since I've come out into Pahrump since uh, 2004. All right, so if anybody has any further questions or anything they'd like to volunteer, anything like that, who can they contact? You can contact Donald McDougall at 775-727-9125. And once again, when will this be held? This will be held on September 8th, Saturday at 3 p.m. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, folks, keep it here because we'll have more news for you after this break.